Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of operated gallbladder with a stone in the bile duct, also called post cholecystectomy syndrome. Gallbladder stones are created forming bile substances of hard crystal like particles. Bile duct stones moved out of the gallbladder become lodged in its in it. Symptoms and signs suggestive of common bile duct stones can occur in people with gall, intact gallbladder as well as those who have had cholecystectomy. The clinical presentation includes abdominal pain, jaundice, nausea, vomiting, fever, cholangitis, pancreatitis, and elevated levels of bilirubin or liver enzymes. Now the death from obstructive jaundice in the first few weeks of it, its course is quite rare and only occasionally observed after a period of varying from 4 to 6 months. However, the patient suffering from occlusion of com common bile duct usually deteriorate rapidly and can die. The most common treatment uh, is to re the removal of the gallbladder, an organ you can live without. Blocked bile ducts can lead to liver failure and liver is an organ you cannot live without. So it is imperative to seek medical treatment immediately. You can see the dilated biliary channels and a stone is seen in the intrahepatic portion of the bile duct. About 1 in 7 people with gall stones will develop stones in the common bile duct. This is a, a small tube that carries bile from the gallbladder to the intestine. Risk factors include history of gall stones. However, cholecholelithiasis can occur in people who have had their gallbladder removed. As you can see in this case, the Gallbladder is operated, cholecystectomy done, but a stone remained in the bile duct. Stones may pass spontaneously out of the bile duct on their own. However, when a stone gets stuck in the bile duct, medical intervention is necessary. Otherwise, inflammation, bacterial infection, and even severe organ damage can occur. Endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography ERCP is a procedure that can be used to remove gallbladders from the bile duct. The gallbladder is not removed during this procedure. So any stone in the gallbladder will remain unless they are removed using other surgical techniques. But in this case, the gallbladder is all, already removed. Biliary obstruction manifestations after laparoscopic cholecystectomy most often is due to either a retained common bile duct stone or unrecognized surgical misadventure, such as transaction or clipping of the common hepatic or bile, common bile duct. However, the laparoscopic exploration of bile ducts requires the proper equipment as well as expertise in advanced surgical skills such as bile duct suturing and stone extraction. The removal of biliary stones can be achieved either through the cystic duct or by cholidotomy. Bile duct obstruction is a blockage in the tubes that carries bile from the liver to the gallbladder and small intestine. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button.